26-year-old Latif Morovsi never imagined he would become a police officer in his hometown of Pristina, Kosovo. Coming of age during the Milosevic regime, Morovsi and other Albanians were afraid of the all-Serb police force. But today, all that has changed. Police interaction with the community is now a high priority. On the face of them, I can see the difference between before the war and now, because they are very friendly with us, and they come to report everything in the police, and also all the time they come and give information for different crimes. That didn't happen before. Transforming the police from enemy of the people to part of the people was one of the United Nations' most important jobs when it arrived here in 1999 after Milosevic was ousted. Steve Bennett, former U.S. Marine and ex-Oregon cop, together with officers from 54 nations, created Kosovo's first democratic police school. We have been able to share with them our experiences from the Western world and from the European communities uh, in terms of democratic policing. But they have embraced that. They have adopted that and made it their own. And they're the ones that are making it work. Four years and 6,000 graduates later, Kosovo once again has a multi-ethnic police force that is slowly regaining the trust of the people. Bennett, who has been called to Iraq to assess the policing situation there, says he'll be taking his Kosovo experience with him.